bit of a trip down memory lane. So this is the place where it all started for me really. So just here I put my Czech army bedroll with a cheap bug net and a British army basher. I didn't call it wild camping back then though. It was just part of bushcraft. So I'm out camping again with the very same lads that I came with on my first bushcraft meet. A little more luxury today though. It's going to be minus two or three degrees tonight. It is frosty now, but we might be getting a little bit of snow. Bloody hell. There is an inner tent in there. It's though. not exactly ultralight, is it? No. Look at that, look. Measured it out. Ish. How hard can it be? <laughs> Like a pole vault, that. That looks alright, doesn't it? Bought a stove as well, so we're going to be toasty warm in here. No ground sheet, but there's no bugs this time of year either. Might want to pull it out a bit. Yeah. Well, this looks like it's seen a bit of action. Yeah, it's had a, I've had it years now, maybe 10 years. It's used four or five times a year. So, so it goes about here. Inside. What does it go inside like that, is it? That's the one. Yeah. Leather sofa as well, look. Chair for sitting on later. It's got a good wedge on it that though, hasn't it? It's good for splitting. It's grand's Is it? Yeah. Looks like Thor's hammer. <laughs> yeah, we've got some silver birch, a bit of ash, a bit more silver birch, some oak in there as well. Gonna be warm tonight. Luke's in the hammock. <laughs> I was never going to bring the hammock tonight. This has got to be my shortest hiking ever. <laughs> this one's just about catching up and socialising. But I thought I'd film some of it because it's something a little bit different. You can barely tell the difference. So Ben, you do a lot with, with wood, don't you? Yeah. Cutting trees good. down pretty much every day? Yeah, that's the job. Yeah. And there's Ben's nice little pile, look. Looks virtually the same as mine. <laughs> Not that much. Yeah. Oh, you did all that as well, yeah. Forgot about that. I'm out of practice. Oh, just the forehead. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> Not from the hand or the finger or the arm. Oh, no, no. Leaking some claret. I've not done a day's work for two years, remember? <laughs> yeah, and you've got hotels uh, booked and everything. Exactly. Now, <laughs> I thought that was quite funny, that one. Yeah, really. Helicoptered it. Just want to quickly say thank you to everybody that's bought a t-shirt or a bobble hat over the last month or so. We've literally sold out of everything on our website, which some of you probably know is hosted by Squarespace. 
So we've been using Squarespace for three or four years and we chose them because we wanted to do all the building and the management of our website ourselves. The platform made it really easy. All we had to do was choose one of their ready-made templates. We uploaded our own photos, added some text, and within a couple of hours, we had a website. There's loads of different features that we use, including email marketing to send our newsletters. We upload photos to the gallery, and then there's selling the merch and promoting the YouTube channel. So it's actually really easy to build a website all by yourself. And if you want to have a go, then click the link in the description below or head over to squarespace.com forward slash Paul Messner. You'll get a totally free trial and then 10% off your first purchase. So a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. All right, today's impression, Donald Trump. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Like Grizzly Adams. <laughs> you don't get many sit pads like that, do you? What is it? Reindeer. Reindeer, is it? I'm feeding. Rudolph. Every little bit that that sun drops, it's getting colder. Not sure I'll need the golf balls on the bottom. Ground's rock hard. He's going for it. Oh, they must have been old vintage, they've still got uh, sandpaper on the side these matches. Them safety matches are rubbish, aren't they? Yeah. I don't think you can buy these anymore. Yeah, where can we buy old school matches? Swan, must be able to, swan vesters, not. proper ones. You must be able to get them. <coughs> okay. Put the lid on. It's freezing out here, mate. Ooh, definitely. That's better. An occasion on it, and Luke? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Just let it cook down first with it. Try and look after the pan. Oh, Bob on. Thank you. Is it low fat? Yeah, of course it is. Look at all that fat that you're not eating. Look how healthy that is by not. It's like a George Foreman, isn't it? Yeah. Lean, mean. <laughs> Pork belly machine. Yeah. One of them where you don't really need a knife and fork. Hmm. Compliments to the chef. Yeah. So what's the next course? Just a few uh, partridge breasts. Locally sourced. Very festive. Day late though, isn't it? Second day of Christmas today.
Same pan as well, isn't it? So, yeah. So all the flavours from the pork. Greg Wallace would be frothing now. There we go, partridge. What do you reckon? Cross between chicken and pheasant? Well, yeah, more chicken than pheasant. Everything tastes like chicken though, doesn't it? More like chicken thighs, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit meatier than a chicken breast. Nice though. Right, it's about 25.8, yeah, 25.8 degrees in here. I was down to my pants, but <laughs> I need to go out for call of nature. So much colder out here. Bit of ribeye. We have eaten like kings tonight, haven't we? Always do. Not finished it either. Partridge, ribeye, pork belly, and then a cheese board for in a bit. I don't know where to start. Bit of brie for me, I think. Brie. Is that enough brief here? Yeah, perfect, thank you. We've had a really good chin wag tonight. Plenty of good food. Not filmed a great deal, but um, it's just been nice to catch up really. Pretty simple setup. Sleeping bag on top of the pad. Similar sort of thing for Ben. We're not gonna keep the stove in all night. But we've got plenty of wood to get it fired up in the morning. Got no bug net, so hopefully I don't get eaten alive. You've been tending to the fire all night. Uh, I got up for a pee. I put a bit of wood on, and uh, it's still. I've just chucked some on about ten minutes ago, and it's still going. So my bag's a little bit wet. Is yours? No. Well, you have been laying on the floor, though. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Never no, oh, mind. Absolutely, uh... This is too warm for me. I've packed a bag for the minus temperatures, and it's never dropped, has it, in here? I haven't had mine zipped up. I've got in it now, since yeah. I've laid down again, but it's been unzipped, partly unzipped most of the night. Yeah, I was sweating in here. I think that's what it is. Never mind. I'm going to... Get up and have a look at the surprise outside, I think. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Not loads of snow, but it's a nice little dusting. It looks a little bit deeper when you get away from the tree canopies. We've had a little bit of protection from up above. <laughs> this is going to taste better. Brothy yeah. coffee. Exactly. 
It's proper barista stuff, this, isn't it? <laughs> no sign of Luke yet? No. Was it nine o'clock now? Ten to nine, still asleep in the hammock. I don't think he wants to get out, does he? He doesn't know what he's missing in here. I can hear a creaking, actually. Oh, the Santa's landed on the roof or Luke's arrived. He's here, look. Hello. All right. We're just talking about you. All right. What are you All good. Just checking you're alive. I've not heard any movement though. Not even heard the snoring? <laughs> no. Oh, brilliant. Maybe I just didn't saw so Too busy snoring myself, I think. The buffet table is ready. It certainly is. Come on, thanking you. Look at that. I'm gonna get yolk all down the chin now, aren't I? There's only bits of cheese crumb in there. Mm. That's delicious. That was bang on. We've done all right for eating, <coughs> haven't we? Yeah. Again. So I was just thinking. We mentioned a bit yesterday. We've had some strange stuff here while we've been camping here, haven't we? In fact, hang on a minute. I haven't properly introduced. This is Ben <coughs> and this is Luke. So this is... I don't recommend meeting guys in the woods that you find on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but I joined the Sherwood Bushcraft Group. What was it? Eight, ten years ago? Yeah, a long time now. Um, yeah, and these guys took me under their wing, showed me a few tips and tricks and I learnt loads of new skills. And we've been camping here. Ever since, not not every week or anything like that, is it? But we always we, try and meet up, don't we? Yeah, we have a good catch up. Early on in the year, we did a canoeing trip as well, didn't we? So yeah. was, if you're not seeing that one, I'll leave that link in the description below. Yeah, we've had all sorts from rabbit, squirrel, partridge yesterday, partridge yesterday, pheasant. Um, we've had goat curry once. We've had frogs. I wasn't there on the frogs one. Oh. I didn't participate. I tried no, that. I didn't, I I didn't tried participate that. in the frogs. Yeah. yeah, it's and it's not just the the meat side of it as well. We you know, have nettle teas and spruce tip teas. We and had a mushroom talk and a walk, didn't we? Yeah. Who was? I can't remember who that was, but was that Malcolm? Mm, yeah, it was really good that one too. Yeah. I'm not a mushroom eater, and I, well, the thing is, I don't think it's worth the effort. Uh, well, foraging. This, this guy knew his, <laughs> yeah. his stuff, didn't he? Well, so I've mentioned Ben a, f a few times in the video, so he is the reason that I do the YouTube videos, aren't you, early? Well, apparently, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I'm looking through the, the old posts in the, in the Facebook group yesterday, and um, round a campfire. You you made a video before, haven't you? Yeah, I've made a few little ones. And... Yeah, and you like challenged us sat around the campfire and I, I made one and just posted it on Facebook and through YouTube and said challenge accepted and <laughs> the rest is history now isn't it uh, I never would have dreamt that it, it could have gone anything like that it was just a bit, a bit of, of fun empty. yeah a bit of fun and but yeah very rewarding so in our wisdom we pitched the tent underneath this tree canopy just keeps dripping down now. <laughs> so the tent's getting dripped on. We need drying out anyway, so it's not a big problem, but we're gonna get wet when we're packing it away. Seems to be a bit more snow when you come away from the trees. Very different to the hills and mountains, but still beautiful. Something else you've got to try. Hot tent camping. 
It's all right, isn't it? It's not bad at all. <laughs> not bad at all. We don't wouldn't need, do it if it were rubbish. Don't need this on. That might take a while to cool down. Ultra light, in. isn't it? You're not quite stuff this into your side pocket. Right, we are done for this one. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to Ben and Luke for looking after me again. I'll see you next time. <laughs>